Now my first guest today, Kate Robbins, recently teamed up with Ricky Gervais in Afterlife, as well as her own daughter, Emily Atak, on Gogglebox. And tonight, she'll be making her EastEnders debut. <laughs> Kate Jones, it's like, good morning, Kate. It's great to see you oh, making nice your, you. your big debut tonight in Albert Square. How excited are you? I'm, I'm very excited, actually. I mean, it's such um, it's such an iconic, iconic program, isn't it? I mean, when I was there in the Queen Vic, it's sort of, looking around you going, this is such an iconic pub. I mean, I do like pubs, but um, and the Queen Vic is amazing. And it was so lovely to be back um, to see Brian Connolly again. I haven't seen him since, oh, I don't know, 1989 or something. He's just, Brian Connolly is one of those people who's just always a joy. He brings a sort of sprinkle of magic to what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I it was do. Great. I, I really... know Brian myself, Kate, I have to say. Yeah. He's, there's just an energy about him, isn't there? He's just it, he fun to be with. Energy. Yes, and, and Whitney, the character of Whitney, who was played by Shona. I mean, she's just, what a talent she is. I mean, you'll see as the story progresses. And my character sees her singing, you know, um, and wants to sign her up sort of, I'm a music promoter, basically. Basically, I'm a sort of, I'm a sort of, a Wolford's answer to Sharon Osbourne. Exactly. That's not a bad thing at all. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always a moment, I suppose, Kate, when you've watched a show for so many years and suddenly you find yourself in it. Oh, I, I, as I say, you, you, you sort of got, you know, you're walking around the square going, the Albert Square, it's fantastic. You're trying to look cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I do this all the time. And you're actually chuffed inside. It was really exciting. Really great. Are. Lovely cast. Had a great time. Really Good for you. And alongside, of course, EastEnders, we will be seeing you in Afterlife um, <laughs> later on in the year. A, an incredible series, Kate. Wow. I'm sure you watched it before, like millions of other um, viewers. Wow. I mean, Ricky Gervais is, is in a league of his own entirely as well, isn't he? What a, what a series to be part of. And, and he is such a, not only is he a great actor and comedian, he's a really good director, so he gets the best out of you. Um, I can't really say much about my character because it'd be nice for you to, uh, you know, to see it when it's all going on. But um, it's lovely. All I can say is I play um, an oddball author. That's as much as I can say. Okay, we'll take <laughs> but, um, that. That was a joy to be on. And um, as I say, Ricky's so, he's so talented, isn't he? Is there anything he can't do? I mean, no. Apparently he paints as well, you know. Yeah, um, uh -huh, a bit, yeah. well, exactly. Well, it's a bit like yourself because you do need some sort of a release away from being on set. And gardening is what you've turned your hand to, I believe. I have. I mean, I have here behind me the um, beautiful lavender from my garden. Now, I, I, in lockdown, I did what a lot of people do. I went to the uh, a pub and it was closed. So I thought, OK, what can I do now? So um, basically, I just made sure, well, that's actually... That's not my garden, that one. But um, I, I really... <laughs> it's I, I a mow, garden. <laughs> I, mowed the lawn, I mowed the lawn for a daughter in that one. But in my garden, I, I've made it like a sort of jungle paradise. And it's like, you know, I want it to be sort of tropical plants. And, and I've tried to sort of plant quite a few things myself. And I said to my son, who's a landscape gardener, who's always busy, and, oh, yeah, Mum, I'll come and help. Yeah, sure, 100%. He always says 100%. And um, I said, George, you haven't come and helped me yet? And he went, yeah, yeah, uh, just water it a lot. OK, and that was it. That was his advice. <laughs> All the tricks of the trade. <laughs> yeah, water it. OK, fine. Um... <laughs> and Monty Don is a bit of a god for you now. Monty Don. I know he's married. And of course, I'm not being, you know, purient about this, but uh, <laughs> he, he's very nice, isn't he? And I did get into his programmes very much watching him. And, I would, you know, the way he does it with his hands. And then I'd go and get a manicure and then I'd ruin my hands. And But no, I love Monty Don. He's great. He is the master. I'll, I have to ask you as well about Emily um, Kate. I mean, I'm yeah. a huge fan of Emily. And, oh, and her, nice. her stand up show as well was just Well, I'm sure she's working brilliant. on an impression of you as we speak. She probably is doing an impression of you. Oh, she, <laughs> well, I would be hugely no uh, flattered if that were the case because no she, she's so talented at the impressions. And we can see where the talent comes from because I remember you, of course, in Spitting Image. I mean, you were the voice of Spitting Image back in the day. Well, no. it wasn't the only voice. No. I mean, uh, there was lovely Jan Ravens and people like that. I mean, it was great. We had Steve Coogan, Rory Bremner, John Thompson. And we were all just together in this, in this gang. And I remember Steve Coogan being very you know, sort of driven and saying, hey, guys, what's your five-year plan? And me and John Thompson saying, well, um, we're going for a coffee after this and then we're going home. <laughs> and so, um, you know, he went on to do such fantastic things, as lots of them did. But it was a great show to do when you're bringing up kids because my kids were all... I was in various stages of pregnancy throughout the eight years I did it. And um, I would go to work and they'd say, well, you're pregnant again. 
I say, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But it was such a good job to do when you were constantly pregnant because it didn't matter what I looked like. And, um, and you know, I, we had fantastic days, just lovely, lovely days, really, really great. Who was your favourite voice to do? Um, I think it was probably the Queen. I think so. Oh, no, I quite like doing Sarah Ferguson because I made her have a silly laugh. I made her sort of go, oh, <laughs> they've named the pudding after me. It's called Ginger Sponge. <laughs> <laughs> and um, poor woman has never made that noise in her life. So I don't know where it came from, really. I just sort of thought, I, I, I think I have a similar sort of face. And when I sort of did my jaw like that and put a ginger wig on in the early days when I did my own TV show with impressions, I thought, I can do Sarah Ferguson. Let's give her something a bit weird, you know. So I sort of started going, <laughs> and uh, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I don't have to do that anymore, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, like I say, Emily has now taken that on, hasn't she? I saw she you sitting in the on. audience of one of the shows, funny enough, oh. Kate. And it's oh. we are on breakfast telly, so let's not even remotely repeat what she was yeah. talking about on stage. But it, it was, was so funny watching you in the audience kind of semi-cringing at Emily's. Let's just say well, she's talking about her love life. <laughs> you wait till yours grow up, Christine. You wait. <laughs> it's... Um, <sighs> Listen, I'm so proud of her, whatever she does. And, of course, I was probably hamming it up a bit for the cameras. But, yeah, I mean, there's certain things you don't want to hear about your daughter's <laughs> life, no matter how satirical or funny it is. But, um, no, I'm, I'm hugely proud of all my kids, you of know. Course. Um, Martha is an agent. She looks after Emily's career. Yes, and, um, and was married at the weekend. We saw that was, on, the, yeah, on your Instagram as well. Funny. So it's been a very, very happy, busy time for all of you, Kate. It's been so lovely to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining Thanks, us Thanks, Christine. Morning. And I hope your little ones are getting on all right. Thank you. They are indeed. That's very kind of you. And we can see you tonight, of course, EastEnders, five past nine on BBC One. Thanks very much, Kate. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.